Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn about Google Finance function and we will see the uses of Google Finance function in extracting historical data of any shares like opening price, closing price, highest price, lowest price, traded volume for any historical date or between two historical dates. That is a date range. So for this, we need to use Google Finance function and to use Google Finance function, you have to use equal to Google Finance in any of the Google Sheet. And as you can see, it has total five parameters. The first parameter is ticker. So in ticker, you have to pass the code of the share for which you want to fetch data. And it's a good practice to include the name of the exchange as well, because many times if you will not pass the name of the exchange, then Google Finance function will use its own intelligence to assign an exchange to it and it will not show the expected result. Let's say I want to fetch the data of Reliance from National Stock Exchange. So I have to pass it as NSC for National Stock Exchange, then colon and then Reliance, which is the code of the share on NSC. And you have to enclose it in double quotes because this is a string. This is the first parameter. Second parameter is attribute. So for historical data, your attributes are open, close, high, low, volume, all. Open means opening price for any historical date or between two days. Similarly, close for closing price, high for highest price, low for lowest price, volume for traded volume on any date or between two dates and all for getting all these five attributes in a single go. The second parameter can be open, close, high, low, volume or all. Third parameter is the start date, means the start date when fetching historical data, means the date from which you want to start fetching your historical data and you have to pass it in MMDD by by format. And the fourth parameter is end date or number of days. So end date, you can assign a date in MMDD by by format, or you can just pass a numerical number, let's say 15, 20. So means a starting date of the data would be the, the date that you would be passing in third parameter. And then if you will pass 15, then 15 days from that a starting date means the number of days from a start date for which to return data. And fifth parameter is interval. So between a start date and end date, how do you want this data to be fetched, whether on a daily basis or on a weekly basis? That is a interval of seven days or interval of one day. So you can configure that in fifth parameter. So I have a few questions over here. We will understand this function in detail uh, through these questions. The first question is, what is the opening price of Reliance on 17th Jan 2024? So I am typing equal to Google Finance. And then the first parameter is ticker. So I want to fetch the data from NSC and then I am typing Reliance. This is not case sensitive. You can use uh, capital letters as well. Second is opening price. So I have to pass it open. And then a start date. I am passing it in MMDT by by format. And since I want the data only for a day, so I am just putting a start date, I am omitting fourth and fifth parameter. Here we have got the data of 18th January, but we had passed this at 17th January over here. So this happens because Google Finance has to deal across multiple exchanges in multiple country in multiple time zone. And this data is going in UTC time zone to the Google Finance function. So because of this internal adjustment, it happens like this uh, specifically for NSC exchange. So you have to do an adjustment for third parameter over here. So since this is giving you a data of one day ahead, so for 17th January, you have to pass here 16. So for 17th January, the opening price of Reliance was 2719 rupees. Now let's write this function for uh, closing price. So you can also do a cell uh, referencing uh, for these functions. So I have already uh, written down these things over here. So equal to 
local finance and then the first parameter is this ticker second parameter is uh, the attribute so which is close and third parameter is the start date so which is this and then i am closing it so for 17th january the closing price was 2723 similarly for highest price since this function is not case sensitive i can write it like this as well and for high this and then the date in mmdd by by format so highest price was 2772 similarly i can uh, write for lowest price and traded volume so for traded volume i'm referencing it from here So the traded volume had been this much. So 6,098,691 was the traded volume on that particular date. So next question is, gate open close high low and volume traded of Reliance on 7th January. So here I have to get all this data in a single go. So for that I am writing it. The attribute would be all here so it can fetch closing, opening, low, high and trading volume, all of these uh, information. So yeah, so on 17th January, the opening price was 2719, highest price was 2772 and then this was the lowest price, this was the close price volume. Now let's understand how we can use fourth and fifth parameter. So in seventh question, get open, close, high, low volume between 10th Jan and 19th Jan. So equal to equal finance. The ticker is this one, Reliance. Then the second parameter is uh, attribute. So I need all. So I am passing all. And a start date is 10th Jan. So for a start date, I need to do adjustment. Uh, so I am passing 9th Jan over here. And for end date, uh, usually for end date, you don't need to do adjustment. So I am passing it as 19th Jan in MMDD by by format. I am passing only four parameter. I am not passing the fifth parameter, which is the interval. I will uh, tell you a bit later. So here you can see the data of between 10th, 11, 12, and 13, 14 was exchange holiday. So that is why we don't have a data. So this is the data till 19th Jan, and this is data on a daily basis. So if you will not pass the fifth parameter which is interval by default it will take as a daily data but if you will pass it as a weekly then it will show you the data as a weekly so on 12th and then on 19th you can also instead of weekly you can type it as 7 so this is uh, the weekly data for daily either you can type 1 or you can type daily or you can skip the default setting is 1 only for fifth parameter let's try to validate all these data so let's go to the exchange so here we have data from 16th 17th 18th jan so for 17th jan opening price was 2719 so opening price is 2719 and we can see uh, the closing price was 2723 over here so here the closing price is 2723 highest price was 2772 on 17th jan so highest price was this so and you can see the total traded volume is 6098691 so this is the traded volume Let's try to validate uh, this data as well. Uh, so for 19th Jan, the opening price was 2752. Highest was also 2752. So opening price was 2752. Highest was also 2752. Lowest 718. Lowest 718. 
So uh, this is uh, how you can use the Google Finance function to fetch historical information. So I have uh, made a kind of a playbook kind of a thing where you can change the share code to get uh, things uh, very dynamically. So if you are liking our content till time and it is helping you in any way, then please don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and colleague who can get benefited and please subscribe to the channel. So here I have listed a few stocks like Reliance TCS in free ITC Titan uh, in a drop down format and here attribute is also listed let's write a google finance function about it so equal to google finance and first parameter is the ticker second is the attribute so first parameter is the ticker second is the attribute so this cell and third parameter is the start date and fourth parameter is the end date and fifth parameter is the interval so i have cell referenced all the five parameters over here so it will give us the data of Titan are starting from 1st January till 11th but because uh, because you know you have to give an adjustment uh, in NSE exchange for a starting date so it has started showing data from 2nd January till uh, 11th so it has become very dynamic uh, let's say I want to do it for TCS so it has given if I want to let's say change the date interval I want this data till 18th so now it will run it uh, again and it will show us the data till 18th and uh, interval I want this uh, on a weekly basis. So you can play around this for different uh, stocks uh, to fetch uh, data. So that's all for today's video guys. Uh, if you want to know more about Google Finance function, uh, so this is the video where I have explained about getting live data for any share for more than 15 plus attributes. Uh, then please check out this video. Let's see you guys in this video. Thank you. Bye